today we are going to break down the king pigeon pose. To begin, let's try going down onto our backs and just going through a little bit of warm up. I'm gonna cross the right ankle over the left leg and then reach behind that left leg, drawing it in towards me, flexing the feet. We will start here. It's just a nice little bit of warm up to stretch the hips as we get ready to get into this pose. You can take this to a little rock side to side if you like, or just hold it still. Release that leg down and switch sides. Crossing the ankle and reaching behind the leg to draw it in. Taking this to a little rock side to side. Bringing it to center, uncross the legs, reach behind those knees and rock yourself up to a seated position. We're gonna roll this over to a four point stance. Stacking the joints here and finding a neutral spine. Now walk those hands slightly in front of the shoulders and I'm gonna scoop the belly, bending that right knee in to take it across behind that right wrist and lengthen that leg back, sliding the hips back to press back here into your king pigeon pose. Now, a couple of things about this. My heel is in line with the hip or towards the pubic bone. Just find what feels best for you here. You should be able to bring that right hip down towards the floor. If that does not work for your body, you have a couple of options. You can grab a mat and fold it up underneath the hip to support you, or perhaps take a yoga block underneath to bring that floor up to you, or even a folded blanket will do. So you're holding this position. Now you can take the hand to your blocks if you need to. Bring in the hands here and pressing to find some extension in the spine. Pressing out of that floor. Collarbones are wide gaze forward. Now if this position is causing you any discomfort, go back to the original position we began in. You should never push or force into any pose, especially if it's causing you discomfort. You can take the blocks to the side and now see if you can't walk the hands forward coming to the forearms, getting a little deeper here into the stretch. Notice how it feels. Continuing to breathe, you can extend the arms going even further if that feels good for you. To come out of this pose, simply begin to walk the hands back and then you can roll to that right hip and bring the knees in. Another way to get into this pose, if perhaps being on your hands and knees doesn't work very well for you, is you can begin seated in a stag position, the right leg in front of you and the left leg bent to the side. If this position works for your hips, you can start from here. You can take the hands, rotate, lean forward to your mat, lengthen the leg, and then rotate to roll here into your pose. That's another way to get into this pose here if the four point stance does not work well for your body. And to come out, again, just roll to the hip, and bend the knees to come back up. Be sure that you do this stretch on both sides and feel free to hold that pose for several breaths for as long as it feels good to you. Good job and I'll see you next time.